making my work is, has always involved uh, two uh, separate but uh, deeply connected processes. And, and the first would be the conceptual process. Uh, it's, it's important to me that my work be about something. So I spend a lot of time um, reading, writing, uh, and basically researching the ideas and the issues that, that inform my work. And um, the idea here is that if I can fill myself up with enough information, then my, both my conscious and, and subconscious mind c can um, develop uh, connections and insights that form a strong conceptual basis that supports my work. The second part of the process is the actual making of the piece. And uh, because uh, most of my work involves glass, uh, most of the pieces uh, start off in the hot glass studio. It takes a great deal of uh, energy and uh, focus uh, to develop the um, the teamwork and the timing and the skills you need uh, to be able to make the glass elements you want. Maybe it's because uh, the, the rest of my process is, is so um, singular. I just simply derive a lot of enjoyment from working with other artists in the hot shop. Whatever I make in the hot shop is, is, is whatever elements I make there is, are then brought into the, the cold studio and, and the cold studio really isn't cold but it's, it's where uh, the cutting and, and grinding and polishing of the, of the pieces take place. Um, it's also where um, the, the final assembly of those elements into the final piece takes place. Um, and, and people ask me, you know, John, uh, what do you do in the studio all day? And, uh, and I say, well, uh, you know, I go in in the morning and, and I, I um, sit at the table and uh, I'll take, you know, a glass element from here and I'll put it over there and, and, and I'll look at it all day and, and when I'm ready to go home, I'll, I'll take it and I'll put it back. And uh, it doesn't sound like a, a lot is going on there, but... Um, that is actually a, a, a very important part in, in, in the creation of my work. Because when you're in the studio and your head is so full of this piece and, uh, and your hands are full of this piece and you're so intimately involved in, in the piece, that's when the rest of the world disappears. I guess it can only be described as kind of a, a meditative state it's it's um, and it's where you know those little insights and little connections uh, take place, and uh, in those moments um, that keep you going into the studio. Every